7 News Time is 6.50. We welcome David White from New York State Sea Grant and also Ashley Corella, who's a Dune steward, and we'll talk about what exactly that is. But first, good morning to you both. Good morning. Thanks How are you today? In. Very good. We're talking about protecting sand dunes along Lake Ontario, and David, you're going to explain what exactly that means. But first, do people realize that we have sand dunes along the shoreline? A lot of folks don't, Jeff. Yeah. It's, it's like going to the ocean and having just come back from Cape Cod, you could actually just travel 10 miles and have experienced the same thing here. We've got about a 7 mile stretch of just fabulous, fabulous dunal area. Uh, it starts down at the Salmon River and ends up at the outlet of Black Pond mm -hmm. on the eastern Lake Ontario shore. Um, about half of it is in public ownership, about half in private ownership. Uh, and because of that half that's in public ownership, it's a really fragile ecosystem. Um, it looks wonderful. I mean, it's got a nice beach area. Um, it includes uh, a couple of state parks within it and several wildlife management areas that get a lot of recreational use. So Ashley is one of our five dunes stewards that we now field out there uh, that are all college students and they're out there uh, trying to deal with the public and talk to the public about how do you um, environmentally is, uh, utilize this resource because mm -hmm. we want folks to go out and enjoy it. It's a wonderful resource to have so it's a real opportunity for folks to go out and learn about it and enjoy it and it's right here in our backyard and it goes from some low dune profile areas in some of the park areas to mm -hmm. in some of the private areas extremely high dune areas as well. And that's Southwick area right there and that goes all the way up to Lakeview. Um, uh, two, two quick questions. I, I would think a sand dune is supposed to be a little bit more of a mountainous area with, with the sand and, and the second question quickly is uh, uh, what kind of role do, do they play in the environment? Well, I'll, I'll let Ashley take that, but uh, there are some areas of high dunes, and that's what Ashley's out to doing, especially when you get down to either Black Pond or Lake, if you're really trying to protect that dunal area, which protects all of the wetlands behind it. All right, Ashley, for the environment, what's the importance of a sand dune? Um, the sand dunes are a coastal barrier, and they protect um, a lot of the wetlands and the habitats that um, live in the, the dunes. So... We need to keep them so we can protect um, all of those species and um, the plant species and all the wildlife. So it's kind of like a buffer in you know, between the water and, 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 the, and the, the mainland. Um, what do you do then? What does what, what your day consist of when you go out to protect these, these sand dunes? Um, well, we do a monitoring survey that we do twice a day. Um, we count how many people utilize the beach, um, and that gets used in a, um, a monitoring thing that we do daily and um, we pick up the trash because uh, there's quite a bit of it so that takes about an hour in the morning to walk up and down the beach and we talk to people a lot of people are curious not many people know about the dunes so they um, talk to us and we educate them and uh, just try to um, aware people how that they're protected and um, we need to keep people out of there and so, so uh, uh, college students are, are the ones that are helping you. Uh, mm -hmm. they're, they're on the front line, if, if you will. So yeah. how do they get involved in that program? And if there is someone who's a high school student and going to college saying, hey, this may be something I'm interested yeah. in, what do they have to do? Uh, every summer we actually field five dune stewards and now five Salmon River stewards. Mm -hmm. um, they all have to either be in college or have just graduated. Ashley happens to go to a Cobalt Skill. Um, and we put a call out in about February to all the universities that have environmental programs because it's a real opportunity for environmental students like sure. Ashley uh, to get some real hands-on experience and meet with folks within the DEC and parks, um, New York Sea Grant, and really get that interaction of, you know, how do I take what I'm learning in college and really begin to apply it? Um, you know, we, we have an opportunity to learn a lot about the environment in college, but then it's really going out and dealling with the public on a day-to-day -day yeah. basis. And, and as Ashley will tell you, it's a lot different to all of a sudden be going out there talking about somebody that say, hey, you know, why do I need to worry about running up and down the dunes? It's really a lot of fun right. and cool to do. Well, here's why you wouldn't want to do it. And she's <laughs> laughing because she's like, yeah, that's my that job on a daily basis is just saying, you know, use the beach. Help protect the dunes because, you know, flooding issues, yeah. wetland issues, waterfowl issues, all that come into play with it. Hands-on experience. Very good. Well, thank you for coming in. Uh, we have a phone number on the screen if you're looking for more information, and that's uh, 312-3042. Thanks for coming in. Great. Thank good you. seeing you, Jeff. Thank you. We're back here in a couple of moments.